Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Mardu control. We're starting off the day with a donation deck here, as you can see, with a Mardu control deck. So let's see what we've got going on. So we have um, basically, uh, you know, just a bunch of removal and planeswalkers <laughs> for the most part. We have treasure maps also to help us hit our land drops um, and make sure that we can you know, get to all of our higher cost stuff because our, our curve is kind of high overall, you know, at the 3.6 there, but we got our 25 lands. Uh, treasure map's gonna be one of our most important cards to help us out. Uh, a couple new cards in here. We have a God Eternal Bantu, which is pretty interesting considering we don't really have creatures to sacrifice to it. But later on in the game, maybe we'll have like some extra lands, um, maybe some treasures from treasure map. Uh, things like that that uh, we can sacrifice and, and draw a bunch of cards. Or at least it's a 5-6 Menace body. Uh, so maybe that'll do some work for us, that just a really large body. I feel like uh, our you know our main things are going to be these Planeswalkers. You know, we got Liliana, Ugin, and Grath, uh, Karn for, to help us hit land drops also. And Huatli is going to be making a bunch of dinosaurs uh, for us there. So this will be an interesting one to try out here. Um, we'll see how good Angrass Rampage is. You know, we got a full four of them here. This is a card that I've been talking about whenever we play Grixis Control as something that I really love whenever your opponent's playing Planeswalkers and you're able to make them sacrifice Planeswalkers. But it hasn't been the best removal spell to sacrifice creatures because of um, how, like, people can go wide or have, like, uh, creatures they don't mind sacrificing with, like, Tithe Taker and Rekindling Phoenix and stuff like that. But of course, with us being a control deck, we do have a lot of Kaya's Wrath, so maybe you know we can Wrath away a board and then have the Rampage for later on. So we've got a Masker Girl on the sideboard, a couple of Bane Fires. It's be interesting to try out. So we'll go. Let's go ahead and give it a spin. Let's head on over to the traditional constructed queue. That's what I like doing with donation decks. If you're not super familiar with donation decks, those are usually ones that I uh, did not put together, and this one was not mine. Uh, this is Ray Day's uh, deck here, who he made an awesome Mardu control that we played last format that was built around like Theater of Horrors as like the win con with Angrath being able to like deal two to the opponent and turn on your Theater of Horrors. I liked it quite a bit. Ooh, new Bolas Avatar. This is tough to keep. Guess we're gonna have to ship this. Yeah, we're gonna have to ship this. Okay, we got treasure map. We'll get rid of this Bantu, we need some more lands. So treasure map will help us hit our land drops here. Blast zone, of course, is a little awkward with Kaya's Wrath and, you know, with, with these kind of lands here. So let's, uh, it's Esper Control. That's not a matchup, you know, with us having all this creature removal and Planeswalkers, we want to be facing creature decks. We do not want to be facing this isn't a fight you Esper win. Control because they just out control us generally. So they just didn't activate their Teferi. Wait, I can activate abilities, right? Yeah, I can only just cast spell sorcery speed. Let's try this. Haven't been doing too well with Grixis JRC. I'm sorry to hear that. I can only cast up stuff sorcery speed. <laughs> That's true when you're playing something like... Yeah, I know Oath hits Planeswalkers, but... Here goes nothing. Is it really going to... Is it gonna work? Basically, I was I was looking like I, I want to find my own planeswalker. Basically, is what I'm looking for there. I want to find my own planeswalkers. 
Okay, there we go. That's a see this is this is where Rampage is great whenever we get to make them sacrifice planeswalkers. That is great. I don't even know if I should be casting the Rampage here, honestly. Maybe I should just... I don't want to let them know about the Blast Zone. Maybe I should have just played Blast Zone and then, you know, put two counters on it and then Blast Zone away the, these things. Okay, we'll still be able to do that. We'll have two, three Mana Planeswalkers. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. I believe in you. JRC, did you see like the changes that we made to Grixis like at the end of the stream yesterday? Of like putting Kefnet in the main and stuff like that? Yeah, and Siwuki says they've had a lot of success with Grixis to Stavriel after changing a couple of things. Oops. Prepare for battle. The Black Blade, the Gideon Black Blade is legendary. Ow. Thanks, James. Yeah, I'm gonna want that to spark. Yeah, I'm gonna want that to spark, so I'll just keep that up. We don't need to upkeep scry then. Innovation Try knows no best. bounds. I will return. Right, Blast zone doing its thing. It's pretty nice having a land to be able to take out two planeswalkers. That is very nice. Yeah, another thing that kills a Planeswalker. I'll take it. Yeah, that Blast Zone was awesome. Really? You want to tap my Treasure Cove? Come on, deck. I want to tap the Treasure Cove. gonna end turn basically because of like thought erasure i don't want to like have extra cards in my hands kind of thing all right so there end step i'll i'll crack we could have found a land and you know hit a land drop but i'm just gonna see what we draw here first okay we have a mortify before we make our scry decision and let's get an upkeep scry i do not want that no don't tap the treasure cove. Hey, Elf Skull. Yeah, if you see, like, the end of the... Um... The end of the stream talked about some changes that I'm going to be playing with the next time I play Grixis. With, like, Kefnet main and stuff like that. We did finish 3-3... Three, three yesterday we were three and we finished three and one after adding in the charter courses to the main deck and yeah i was going to drop the six six mana planeswalkers for the kef nets and including in that three and one we beat mono red so that's always good Yeah, that blast zone was awesome. Alright, looking for planeswalkers. We don't have any hand disruption in the main deck, do we? Oh! Where's my upkeep stop? It wasn't in there. Oh well. We can still scry and then draw it. No! Ugh. Don't tap my treasure cove. Come on. 
Mardu deck. Why would you tap the treasure cove? We have 10, 10 planeswalkers in here. Haven't seen one yet. Um, hey, corn lover. <laughs> yeah, if our opponent doesn't play anything, we can't do anything with these cards. <laughs> we need them to play stuff. So, like, drawing a whole lot of cards here is not really that good because I may just have to go to discard. Honestly. So this doesn't really seem like the time to just, like, draw a bunch of cards of these treasure coves. <laughs> this will be child's play. Hey, Zan. Thank you. What's the Am I? <laughs> Funny. All right, what well, we have on the bottom, so we have huh. three lands, an Othakaya, and a Bantu on the bottom. Take one card because we know we'll be able to get rid of this rampage. Bleh. Uh, let's go to my our turn. gonna go to my turn okay hit our land drop I just have nothing to do hmm we can get rid of the Othakaya also if we really want to let's try to draw another card okay we'll wait Oh, it has the four mana lily in the sideboard? No, that's not correct. No, my bad. I'll try to go fix that right now. Result. Let us begin. I assume this Karn is dying. Evil cannot so let's just, let's just make a creature that can start attacking and stuff. I feel I feel like if I, if I plus if I plus the Karn, they'll just like give me a land and then like contempt the Karn, and then I'll and I'll have like whatever other spell like in exile that I don't want in exile. All right, let's let that ex get exiled so that it can come back with more loyalty. All right, what's the correct Liliana called? Oh, yeah, Dreadhorde General. I don't need 41 of them. I just want one. There you go. All right, Mortify. Alright, now that should be updated correctly. My bad, I had the wrong Kefnet in there too. Alright, we're down to five cards in hand. Uh, no, let's keep these things being three threes. The Bolus Avatar is new today. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Now that thing's Farewell, attempted. and thank you for the lesson. Attack. 
All right, seven more turns. We got this. Six more turns. Lame. All right, uh, let's see. My bottom five, like, so basically do I want to go grab a land? So my bottom three cards are three, or my bottom, yeah, bottom three are three lands. Then we have this Oath, then we have the Bantu. The Bantu would definitely be a good card to draw. Um, but, you know, we don't want to really draw all those other cards. Um, we do have one other basic in the deck, so we would shuffle those in. I think I'm going to say no. Meh. We have so much removal in this deck. There's 25 lands in here. Ugh. Well, looks like we're going to discard a Kaya's Wrath. I could just play Oath of Kaya. No, no Arch of Araska. That'd be nice. We we did have a we did have a blast zone that was awesome that blew up a couple planeswalkers. Uh, let's play this thing. This Liliana resolve. I was kind of testing to see if they had a counter, but then I guess I did just put a card in their hand that could have just been that counter spell. I am the master here. What a good mindless minion. So, two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So we've seen fourteen lands, plus we know the three at the bottom, so that's seventeen. So there's eight, and oh yeah, then that one too. So that's eighteen. So there's seven lands left in the next twenty-four cards. It's so about one every three and a half cards will be a land. Hey, Nerd Rage. We haven't really done anything yet. I mean, I, we got the Liliana out. Rise and but shine. Seems like this game is... Still a little ways away from ending. We'll see if they're playing like more settles. Shocking in there, huh?
This looks like a fun new toy. I mean, Liliana ult should basically win this game if we actually Liliana ult. Hey, what's up, boot? I can no longer stand by and watch. Time is much more malleable than people think. That's unfortunate. No Liliana ult. Resolve. Hooray. It's only a matter of time. All right, go, Angrath, go. Get him. No fire, no steel. Get him. That's unfortunate. So you think I should have Kai's Wrath away my own battlefield just to draw three? Oh, not another fairy. If you show remorse, let's skip to the good part. Oh yeah, I definitely like it more so far. I I don't like how everything except for how War of the Spark made has made Wilderness Reclamation a lot better. Besides that, I like everything else about it. Every exploit ripples through time. Again. Oh, I can create or destroy. All right, uh, pass me. I won't hide from the world any longer. Hurry! Are they going to be able to win? 13 cards? Kefnet? Hmm. Want that treasure map? Secrets manifest before you. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. <laughs> Smelly but effective. That's odd. Why mortify Othakaya? What does what does Othakaya do? Yeah, you can find it all here. That's anyway. where you can find all my, my deck lists. I got treasure map costs zero mana now with Ugin. That's pretty cool. Alright, so they got 13 cards left. Now you 12. I'm not we got 22. Yet. We do have like that calf net that we're not really able to deal with. I wrote an entire treatise on your impending failure. All right, get this up, keep stopping. Hooray, it worked.
What is our dex win con? These these planeswalkers. Ether itself serves me. Hmm. I have to worry about decking myself, so like if I cast Kai's Wrath right now, we draw th we'll draw two, because we'll take this Angrath and draw two. I definitely want that Angrath. Should I just mortify the two two? Maybe I just do that. Not want not. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Never seen no fire, no steel. All right, we got there. That was a long game. That was a very, very long game. I'm already tired after just that game. We have another seven hours of streaming. <laughs> uh, and we do not really have anything to make to speed this up. I mean, we got the Bane Fires. Now we have all these duresses. So we take out all these Kaya's Wraths. Probably the Oath of Kaya's. And two Mortify. I don't have more answers for us, Canter, than just to mortify. Yeah, they may bring in Thief. We have, we still have all the. I'm keeping all the Angrass Rampages, the Devil. Even the Bane Fires we just brought in can shoot down a Thief on turn three after they play it. Contempt. Angrath is really good against Thief. Double Thief. Looks like I'm going to contempt the other thief. Or not. No, my Angrath. I, the choices I, like, I like those changes, Siwuki. I'm pretty full on the docket today, boot. I really want to play all three of these all decks that we have right on schedule. after this. I really want to play all, all those decks. Um, but uh, tomorrow, if you'd like, I, I can play a deck. You know, I can do it anytime you want tomorrow. Um, or Sunday, Saturday, of course, we got our sub battle stream. But tomorrow, Sunday, you know, any, any other day, you, know, you can tell me a time schedule ahead of time, but I, I really want to play all those decks today. Um, I 
What was lost is now returned. I gotta find a way to deal with this thief now, but really should have seen that coming. It's definitely worth getting to ferry out of there. Uh, they're not scared of playing the thief. I was kind of hoping they'd be scared to play the thief. A curious choice. There we go. Both of those kill a thief. Awesome. I'll play this land they know about. Queen Necromancer has a nice ring to it. A little death never hurt anyone. <sighs> That's kind of sad. Get everything out of my hand because Elder Shaborn's trigger here. I won't get an upkeep stop. Yeah, Liliana is awesome. That art is incredible, too. Yeah, we gotta find treasure with all these maps, right? Like, we gotta find the treasure somewhere. Maybe the maps are, like, leading to different treasures, so we'll never actually, like, we won't actually find the treasure that we want. Because they're like conflicting maps. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. And I think I just casted a spark now on this Eldest Reborn. If I wait till their turn, they'll, you know, if I wait, let them untap, they can like Chemister's Insight in response and then find Absorb or like a counter spell. So I, I think it's just worth it to do it now. So obviously the worst case scenario is they get to actually use that mana on my turn. But I think it's just the best chance of them not having a counter spell is to do it then. So that was of course the worst case scenario that if, if they did have the counter spell in their hand it would have been good to do it on their uh, on their upkeep. Yeah, I really like to spark too. Whoops. Down, 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 down. All right. All right, see what keys I got that down now. Hey, Matthew, I'm doing good today. Yeah, feeling good today. Ready to play a lot of magic. We're starting with a really long match here with our Mardu control against our Esper control opponent. It's going to draw a lot of cards. If we want it to. Kind of want to just find a removal spell. I don't think we really need more, more cards. Hey, Nitty Rat. What's up? Thank you, Nitty. 
want to find something for this thief. This is not getting better. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Second on the day. Nothing wrong with that. So I didn't really want to minus four Liliana. So I didn't want to get rid of Liliana. Even though we would have drawn two cards. <laughs> so I'm really glad that shine. resolved. Because I bet they don't have as many sweepers in their deck here after sideboarding, but that's what they took out. Like, these 2-2s two could really go a long way for us. We got a lot of treasures. Time to start drawing extra cards. To fill his hand back up. Yeah. That's the problem with drawing the cards during my turn. Turns on Thought Erasure. But I was hoping to find a Planeswalker. Hey, there's a Planeswalker. Yeah, if, if Karn resolves, we'll minus and grab Bane Fire and kill them. Which it does. I will fight for my friend. Action is Let's grab this Bane Fire. Alright. Wanna know? Whew. That was a long one. You need a little bit of endurance here to play this deck. GG's. Nope, no Sarkins in the list. It is very controlly. Lots and lots of removal and then some planeswalkers. <laughs> yeah, that was about that was like a 35 minute match. 3540. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. It's not another control deck they were playing. That's good. And we got these treasure maps. We got the Blast Zone. Blast Zone's great against Terramander. Well, it's... It's a, it's not my deck map, you. You shouldn't be mad that I'm playing Huatli over Sarkin. I didn't I didn't design it.
Yeah, I could see playing Sarkin there instead of Huali. You get like that 4 4 Drago. Like, that's a, it's a donation deck. Donation deck. Um. Oh, wait, the treasure map resolved? Interesting. Alright, so just looking for land. That's a land. That'll do. Play another one drop. Come on, opponent. Play another one drop. We need more mana. Hey, that worked. Unexpected. <laughs> There's a chance. No, I, I have not ever considered playing Deliver Unto Evil, to be honest. So would I rather draw a card or play a treasure map? I think I'd rather play a treasure map. Our hands are already just fine. Opponent so close to killing us. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe I should have drawn the card. Ugh. So I, I need to be able to cast this plus Mortify in case that there is protection for one of these things. That's why I didn't activate treasure map on upkeep, because I need all eight mana. Good game. Does that mean they have a dive down also? I guess that means they have dive down also. Or they just have a second spell pierce. You should surrender now. So like dive down, like we can't just cast the mortify to save it from dive down. Before me. Oh, are they saying they're saying good game is and they lost? I was like that was like their last card.
go and feast I wanted, on the flesh. I wanted to play Ugin and start making two twos, and, and I was going to take up Huali and gain two life. Rude. So why would you auto tap and not leave me with a black source? Auto tap. Like we have these things. Like why why would you auto tap like that? Um Doesn't really matter, but our actions determine the course of history. Some solutions must be built. Their strength is your strength. <laughs> Did not think we were winning that one, of course. All right, so we get all these duresses. We'll try Cry of the Carnarium. We'll try Lyra. I don't think I want Massacre Girl. I definitely do not want Dispark. That can go. All right, Bantu can go. This is 66. I probably need to start trimming some of these expensive five mana cards like Angrath, Huatli, Ugin, Liliana, those kind of things. I think we'll be able to Ugin. The Huatli gain life is kind of cool. Nangrath's quite good if you resolve it for just like clearing out their hand. I don't know how we won that. You think mask? Y'all think Masker Girl is a, an actual board wipe? Let's take out Karn and a Liliana, and I'll take out one Angrath for a Masker Girl. Fine, we'll try Masker Girl. I'm not very confident that Masker Girl is going to actually kill anything. I think Masker Girl is a trap here, but y'all want me to play it, so. I'm pretty sure Masker Girl is going to do nothing. Pretty sure they won't have any 1 1s whenever we play it, and it just won't do anything. But we'll see. Page is good against. Dive down. You got your tie there, Rex. You're good. I see that tie there. All right, maybe Masker Girl will be good. Maybe.
Works even after it's in play? No. No, it's just an enter the battlefield effect. That's it. It doesn't do any... Once it's in play, it's just a 4-4 menace. It doesn't do anything else. <laughs> uh, no, MeUndies does not sell ties. Um, I have a clothing company that does sell ties. They'll be a sponsor very soon. Why not kill Siren Storm Tamer there? I don't think it really matters which one we kill when we're sitting on Masker Girl. Just doesn't really matter. I did not think Masker Girl was going to resolve there. No, the second sentence doesn't keep lasting, no. Just, it says when it enters the battlefield, then that's it. And then whenever a creature dies this turn, so like it just, it's like that second, the second sentence is this turn. So it's, it's just that turn, it's not, it's not all the time. No, it was, yeah, it was four mana. See if they have a counterspell. Hopefully not. I'm just using back-to-back -back counterspells. We're dead if like either of these spells don't resolve anyway. History is written by the Their strength. Is your strength. All right, Huali resolve. Trigger. Sometimes even destiny is wrong.
Uh, we're so close. We're so close. So close. Get more cards. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, please, no trickster. Oh, no trickster. So I think waiting until we need to help something resolve to cast the duress is the thing to do because it's possible like that turn they didn't have like the counter spell but then they draw into it like the next turn. So just like firing off the duress on its own and not really doing anything doesn't really help. They would not, yeah, they would not sack the Storm Tamer. But like what, what does the duress do for us that turn? We may need the duress to help force this Kaya's Wrath through. The dress didn't didn't do anything the previous turn. So now they saw a whole lot more cards, so it's a lot better chance that our duress is going to take something that we want. deck. Uh, not quite. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could have gained one life if I just don't attack there. That's a good point. I forgot about that clause with the Kai's Wrath. Yeah, I should have. Should have not attacked. Good call. We need something to win. No! I don't want them to have something to win. Removal! Woohoo! Alright, we're still in it. 
Come on, Lyra Dawnbringer. No! Come on, Terminator. Is this gonna work? Come on, work. Work. Upstairs. I wanna keep this new one. Upstairs. Woo! We got there. We got there. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> really close, really close to games there. I'll try resetting, see if it helps. I did some, some stuff with the internet today to, to try to help that. Um, but, you know, it hasn't really seemed like it. Yep, I just reset Arena. Yep, so there we go. Alright, 2-0. We have drawn it really well. That was, yeah, really good, really good draws there. Those runner runner draws. <sighs> yeah, treasure map is a keep. Last zone was definitely critical to us winning that first game that I didn't think we really had a chance to win. We would, we would not have won that first game at all if it wasn't for Blast Zone. Alright, let's look for lands. No lands yet. But we're going to flip this treasure map next turn. We're going to get the treasures. Like, we would be able to cast the Kaya's Wrath even if we need to. I don't think I have another internet service provider that I can actually change to. Unfortunately. Like, where I'm at. It's like they have a monopoly. As far as I know. I don't, I don't know of one, a different one. At least. So this is a land. No, it's not a white source. So we're going to take seven and go to nine if I just don't do anything here. And next turn, go Oath of Kaya plus Kaya's Wrath to kill the Phoenix for good. play another creature. That's not another creature. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you.
Okay, good. Another creature. Sec yeah, if they had second Phoenix, we could we could have double double Kaya's wrath, and so that that wouldn't have been that would not have been that bad for us if they had second Phoenix. Eggs is my bread and butter. Sarkin, what's to do about that thing? You will feel the lick of my flames. Come to me. That thing's really big. All right, question. Can you explain your? Reasoning for charter course over discovery. I just like how it just draws two. And yeah, I definitely want that. Instead of like just like discovery just replaces itself where charter course draws two and then you know, even like when you're doing draw two, discard one. Um, so I'm going to Bedevil. A lot of times in like a control deck like that, you have a card that is not very useful in a situation. So you get to like draw, plus you also get to loot one. And I like that more than what Discovery's doing. I just like the velocity that Charter Course provides. And there are times you do just get to attack and get to draw two. I mean, I, I don't really have a, a choice, nothing to, else to do with that, lost. but then it's like, do I play Karn here? I don't think so. can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> so, yeah, we already we we're good on dreadhorde control. We just need this one. We need Mardu control. Um Red. History is written by the victors. Fall before me. Um, honestly, it may be CPU related. I don't know. It it's how it's got it's gotten really bad the last couple of days. Like, this is the third day in a row now, it's really bad. I, I don't think I can completely say that it's not CPU related at all. This is not what was written. It hasn't, it's never been as bad as it's been the last three days, and I don't know exactly why it's suddenly so bad. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I am the master here. What a good mindless minion. I will defend my... <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Um, I don't, I don't really have answers to, like, all these questions. I don't, I don't have answers. I don't know. Devastation. If there's a, somebody that knows computers well that can help me uh, during the day before I stream, like around 1 Eastern, like tomorrow, that would be really nice. But like while I'm streaming, trying to focus on winning this game, I, I can't really do other stuff. And usually after the stream, it's just real late and I'm just too tired by then after we get done streaming. Wow, this looks like a fun new toy. Keep on making tokens. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Okay, Yager. Does tomorrow tomorrow work for you, Yager? I'm I'm not uploading bots oh, right now. This is our first deck of the day. It's it. Uploading and not uploading has not changed anything. As you can tell it's still bad when we don't upload or when we do. It's I haven't found any difference with uploading or not uploading. So I mean that's good. That could be that it's not the internet with that. Yeah, definitely glad Harpooner doesn't have haste. We have a couple good blockers for Harpooners right now. Let's make them sacrifice this Planeswalker so they don't get to, like, fight with Domri with, like, something else. Just get this Domri finally out of here. Uh, we'll make another token with Liliana. <laughs> Rise and shine. They may have, like, Lightning Strike for their last card. That's what it kind of seems like here. Yep. Where I could die to a Chain Whirler. Seriously? <sighs> That's what happened. I don't have any instant speed life gain that I can cast. I have, like, Content. If I Mortify something... Uh, we were about to ultimate this Liliana. We were about to ultimate Liliana. We can't complain too much. We've had some really good luck so far in other games.
Bantu is really big. I don't regret not... I do, I do not regret not contempting my... Or uh, Kai's wrathing away my own tokens. I liked having the tokens out there. I mean, obviously, sure. You know, you look back at it, we would have gained a little bit of life and drawn a couple of cards. But I, I liked the, the defense. I don't really regret that. But, you know, hindsight for exactly what they had, you know, they could have also just had uh, two lightning strikes and, you know, killed us with direct damage as well. I, I think that... I. I don't think I made the wrong play by not Kaya's wrathing away tokens and keeping tokens for defense for Harpooners. I think just kind of looking back at that is just kind of nitpicking. I, 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 will do, I would do the same play again. Yeah, do exclamation point decks. That's where you can find the decks. I'm not sure which card I don't want. Um, I guess it's going to be Bantu. I like Liliana more than Ugin. The only way Massacre Girl is really going to do stuff is if they have a land war elf in play. So close. If I had two lands with that treasure map, I would love it. Two lands treasure map is like what I want every time with the deck. Let's look for red mana or a treasure map. Thanks, Nerd Rage. Yeah, I like this Bolus Avatar too. can't even Othakaya that thing. If I Othakaya that, then they get the 1-1, one, one, and then my Angrass Rampage does nothing. I can't do that. I'm just going to draw my card, hopefully draw a land to Contempt this Phoenix. I'm not going to Scry because then I won't be able to Contempt also. Jeez. Yeah, there's a new update with like the bolus stuff and with uh, some of the new War of the Spark cards with Let's do this. This is just gonna be bad for you. They just already play land. Hey Ryan the Rhino, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub, Ryan. So more of the spark cards now have card, uh, I don't know what they're called, cosmetics. They now have cosmetics. There we go. Ryan. Yeah, Yogger. Yep, that's how you get the bolus. Um, Avatar here. But so, Yogger, would you be 
available like tomorrow afternoon sometime to uh, help look through computer stuff to see if we can figure out why oh, this lag has burning. been so bad the last three days? Or like, will you be busy at work? I like the new Chandra. Yeah, we'll probably play the metagame challenge some. Oh, I guess I need to play Othakaya first, right? Just, just need to throw out Othakaya. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, two and one. We could have still won that when I conceded. Like, what is the bitrate supposed to be? I use Studio OBS. And yeah, Nerd Rage, you think you'd you'd be able to help tomorrow? I need somebody that can help t tomorrow. But what should I? What am I supposed to have the bitrate as? I've tried changing it. You know, like we had it at 3,000 and people are saying lower the bitrate, so we lowered it to 2,000. Okay. Is that an L or a one nerd rage for your name? Looks like Mono Blue again. We had a really fun match against Mono Blue a little bit ago. I wish we had our treasure map. Oh, this is not Mono. Not regular old Mono Blue, at least. Good old Agrabolus. It's just a 1 3 that looks at the bottom of your library. Unfortunately, that's really good against my Angrath Rampage. Guess we'll wait till we can, like, maybe Kai's Wrath that away. Stupid Augur Bolas. Not another Augur Bolas. I'm trying to Angrass Rampage away this Tempest Gen. So certainly best case scenario is we Kaya Zarath away the battlefield. I think we try Contempt first on like their upkeep.
All right, Kai's Wrath one time. Hey, the the first the first match that we played against uh, Mono Blue Game One, we just threw out a Kai's Wrath like this whenever we were at one, and we had no expectations of it actually resolving, and it did. Maybe it'll resolve again. Yeah, you know, maybe they just have creatures and lands over there. Nope. All right, Lyra, Duress. Massacre Girl actually did stuff for us, but they're playing like Augur Bolas. Why do they have Augur Bolas in their deck? That card didn't do anything. Definitely getting rid of Bantu, getting rid of Ugin, getting rid of One Lily. Um. Or the Karn. Maybe I'll just play Banefires over these other Karns. We kind of need the Karns, though. We need the card advantage. Oh, right. Carly Carnarium. Right. Thought there was something else I'm missing. I guess, all right, I guess no Karn. Do I want Karn instead of Liliana? Nah. Boot, when are you coming over? When are you gonna be over here? Yeah, I have 30 up, but it, it really varies. Sometimes it goes down to, like, under 5 for, like, you know, a 10-15 minute stretch, and then it'll go back up to 30 and stuff. 10.30 a.m.-ish Saturday. You can get up here at, like, 2 a.m. Friday night. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with that. Play a bunch more one ones. Go one drop, one drop. Right now, Ugh. and they have the devil. It's gross. Yager, I'm doing that speed test thing, and it says, uh, uh, three forty. Right now, it says three forty down and twenty eight point four up. The ping is 15 ms, whatever that is. Opponent is going to have to go to discard. Discard two cards.
Oh, you think it's the cables and wiring in the house? So we're making our opponent just kind of go to discard and like waiting till we can cast multiple spells in a turn, which we can now. So I can have Bedevil plus Mortify right now, but they could just have, I mean, I assume that they have more spell pierces, they discarded a spell pierce. I'm not on Wi-Fi now. I have no idea PC specs. I know I have 16 RAM. I don't really know what other specs there are. Yeah, I want that. Hmm. They're discarding Dive Down? Oh, their cards have got to be great in hand. What's the issue? Just the normal, like, the real, the lot of lag that we've had the last three days. That's oh, just been really bad. So, okay, so back to the game here. I am, I'm basically waiting till a turn I can, like, really, you know, Unleash a flurry of stuff. We're gonna wait till after we flip this treasure map. They are just you know going to discard all the time. So like we're eating like even though they're drawing an extra card, they're also discarding a card. So it's not like they're really gaining too much by these extra cards in hand. All right, so let's love it. It's a great card. I want them to do something with this. Like, dive down would be nice. Uh, anything, basically. Because now... The only thing that's one mana to counter a Kai's Wrath is just Spell Pierce. And we have two mana to... Help with a Spell Pierce. So we're good there. So that's the only thing I know. Of... So they had double negate and retort. So we'll just take a retort. So they still have So they still have negate. So how do we want to play around negate? I think I want to uh, Mortify and then uh, Huatli. They just, yeah, if they just let that go, then we're not huatli -ing. Let's draw a card. No, I don't, so, I don't, 
I don't know what that... So it's that left shift plus the period button. Is that what LT shift is? The, the left shift button? I'm supposed to do that in in arena. I'm not casting another thing. I'm I'm never going to run into this. I'm never going to let anything get countered by the spell peers. Yeah, I'll take a couple negates though. Good trades. So they got a, just a spell pierce. Plus whatever this card is. They scried it to the top, so it's something good. Alright, alright. So let's start with this rampage. Sack a creature. So I can play this and still pay for spell pierce. Let's get this in play. Kill the storm tamer. All right, I'll hit left shift and the period. All right, so there's that down there. Expect no mercy. My glory. I live in Western Witness Virginia, run up Virginia. Fame. Yeah, there's a bunch of bad storms in the Midwest, but I, I think we missed those. Go and feast on their flesh. I think we got this here. Maybe. <laughs> But we're we are down a game, so we win this, we're going to another game. Their strength is your strength. Their strength is your strength. And I'm taking up taking up Huali so we can still use Huali as a removal spell. You know, I want it to have more loyalty, so like if there's a Tempest Jin. With four toughness, you know, we can kill it. Um, the only thing it doesn't kill right now is like a Terramander. Let's take it up one more time. Yeah, let's take it up again. Their strength is your strength. The song of fame. Let's 
Looks like we're going to a game three. Man, this is a really slow deck we're playing here. <laughs> Red A Pinball's getting his money worth with the donation deck here. We're at, like closing in on two hours of just playing, and this is like our fourth match. Go and feast on their flesh. All right, let's try it again. Let's go with the same stuff. So is this is this telling y'all anything? We tried the in-game graphics thing and that didn't work. Yeah, we got turn two treasure map. Um, we can certainly get ran over with this hand, but we're not mulliganing this. This is where our deck is. <laughs> I do not mind I honestly don't mind like buying a new machine Especially, you know, I could do like a... I could do a, um... Like a donation goal too, even. I just want to make sure that, you know, if we get a new... it's That it is like the computer. If we get a new computer, that this will be fixed, you know? Because it, as frustrated as a lot of y'all are about this kind of stuff, I am much more frustrated. It, it's... It is certainly... Uh, bothersome because I know that there are people that just tune out and may not come back to watch the stream and stuff because of it and that's a really big problem for me yeah I'm not buying one just just yet but yeah this is I mean, I do have like some some movies on here and stuff. Does that would that help if I free up like as much storage space as I can on the computer? Would that help? Because if so, I I'll definitely do that. No, it wouldn't. Okay. Ooh, let that happen. Didn't just sack the Storm Tamers. We got to gain that three life. That's good. Ugh. That's all that wasn't just the two quenches. That's bad. Great draw step. We're still in it. Why are you firing off the quenches? Do you think I just won't pay two twice?
We have stabilized. Good thing our opponent threw out that Tell quench. Me what you're made of. Sing the song of fame. Can I have stream quality at 720? Their and is your strength. Record still at 1080 for YouTube. Is that a thing? Yeah, I turn I turn off my computer every every day after streaming and I turn it on like basically right before streaming. This is basically the only thing I do on my computer here is, is stream here. All right, three and one, two and zero oh against mono blue. That was kind of a weird mono blue deck though, with all those quenches and auger boluses. Hey Duke Nukem. Hello. It's a good Just a fine opening hand here with a lot of removal. Really hope we're playing against a creature deck, please. Please be a creature deck. Please not control. Alright, should I should I close this thing? Y'all need this up anymore? Another Augur Abolus deck. Two in a row. Two in a row. Uh... Mm. I should have probably just played a shock land in here. Mm. So you have to use a reboot function. My computer was built specifically with streaming Magic Online in mind three years ago. So I was a Magic Online streamer. Arena wasn't a thing yet. And I didn't didn't record for YouTube or anything. So it's sounding like the maybe recording plus streaming plus playing arena, maybe that's just too much for the PC and we need you know, some hardware upgrades somewhere. This, is a, it, what, this hasn't really been an issue since, that's, that's kind of when it started is whenever I started recording for YouTube, so that could be it. So unfortunately, this Kefnet's going to go back into their library three down. But I don't think I just let them... Don't think I let them just have the Kefnet and maybe trigger it and stuff. I knew let's light it up! And watch it burn.
Hopefully we find a plane block. There we go. It's a good one too. We will take out the Chandra. Curiosity and wonder drive civilization. We're so done here. I can create or destroy. Yeah, OBS. Oh, Ral is perfect. Today's forecast is cloudy with a high chance of me. Does that wait no no, that's never mind. I was thinking that was Soren, where Soren ticked up and dealt one damage. But if they just play an instant or sorcery spell, then they get to do one damage. So they may just play this invade the city to deal one damage to the There's Ugin. a storm coming your way. This I'm out. Still get a couple two twos. I'm I'm glad they minus and not plus. So we can have this Othakaya take out the Ral. That's good for us. Mistakes were made. Lesson learned. Hey, thanks, Pruger. Take that thing off the screen. Go, Liliana, go. I require servants. Your corpse will volunteer. Putrid. Very good draw for us. Effective. Mm. Does not die. We don't get to draw a card. Do not ruin my dress. Sixteen. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> we had Nerd Age. I won't be doing that right now, of course. Not while streaming. Keep on drawing this Kefnet. No, Ixlon's Binding doesn't stop the gods from being replayed because whenever you exile something with Ixlon's Binding, uh, they can just put it back into the library and then it's not under the binding, so there's no actual card under the binding, so the binding doesn't stop anything from being played. did a really good job of drawing six mana planeswalkers that game. So we saw Kefnet and Ral as far as things to dispark. I don't know if I actually change anything in my deck. I guess I'd probably rather have Lyra than Bantu against Kefnet and potentially like Crackling Drake. Could play like some Duresses instead of like Othakaya. 
And maybe I don't need four Othakayas. It's the Electromancer. I'm just going to put in a second to spark instead of the third Othakaya. And I'm going to take out Huwa'ali and put in the other Lyra. There we go. Reasonable. Is there... Yeah, we have a Masker Girl on the sideboard. Yeah, we'll play the metagame event. Definitely. That'll be fun. I don't see anything in the power settings that, that would do anything. Kill that. With the Kai doing its job. Yeah, recording in OBS, that could be the culprit. Ah, uh, here's that Kefnet. The uh, Kefnet that never dies. So what else does our opponent have in their deck besides Kefnet? Anything else? Ah, uh, yes, Ral. Ooh, a battle. Well, it's oh. gotta be a Ral combo Eureka. deck, right? Uh, sorry, I, I just realized something totally unrelated. Yeah, we drew, drew every single card. How convenient. An excellent choice. All them cards. Why not draw it, kill it after their draw phase? Because if they draw something that they could reveal, like Tormenting Voice, then they would be able to, you know, reveal it to Kefnet and get the trigger. Yeah, so we definitely want to kill it before the trigger. It just makes we sense. We should discuss our differences. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not planning on buying anything like computer-wise until we figure out what's successful. going on. It, except for that. With it. All right, so we have a treasure map. Which treasure map doesn't seem like the most important thing we need to go grab right now. So let's let's tick up again. Later. Certainly feels like my opponent has a counter spell here.
but that's okay. My retribution will be swift. Yeah, Yager, I had it up for like five minutes. You want me to do it again, Yager? You're gonna watch this time? Better watch out. There's a storm brewing. Please stop. Shocking in with the steam vents. You know, that either means either spell pierce or shock. I think it's kind of likely for spell pierce. Statue, do not talk to me. Well, so I don't really want to cast this mortify and get it spell pierced. Maybe I do. Actually, yeah, I think I do. Get it out of their hands since we have the Ugin. Oh, or it's just opt. I do not feel pain. What's a GPU? The graphics? processor stuff. Uh, I did update the graphics card because that hadn't been updated in the three years and so I did actually update the graphics card uh, about two weeks ago now and unfortunately that didn't help. I was hoping that was going to help. I did that like right before War of the Spark came out. There's a storm coming your way. Rao kind of looks like Duke Nukem, or like he looks like Rao would be a Duke Nukem. You stop. Your efforts are futile. We have access to eight mana right now. One problem with grabbing Ugin and then having Ugin. Yeah, the problem with having Ugin kill Ral is that then the Ugin's gonna die. But it's probably worth just getting Ral out of here, and I, I think I'm gonna make that trade. But then they can just attack. You know, have this auger kill Ugin, or they can have the auger kill. Karn, or you know, they have a burn spell, they can kill them both. But just getting Ral out of here that's doing the scrying, dealing like that damage, copying spells, just getting that thing out of here for good. Well, that's a problem. Another time, Planeswalker. I will endure. Hmm. No, that. Yeah, there was. 
it was still pretty laggy before I did that update of the graphics card, but I was hoping that was going to help, but it just didn't help. Alright, so they have negate back up. Oh boy, Finale of Promise. I don't even know what that can do. Looks like we're going to a game three here. Okay, just passing. So shock, tormenting voice. Bunch of charter courses, this rouse outburst. Treasure map and Othakaya over there. Attack. There's the Kefnet yet again. Lyra hasn't died yet, though. So that's good. We don't have any way to get rid of a Kefnet like for good in this deck. You ready to throw down the gauntlet? We haven't seen an expansion I explosion have just yet. The thing to take you out for good. So is this going to double Finale of Promise? This has got to be like a million spells, right? I don't even know what's going to happen here, but this is not good for us. <laughs> That's all I know. It's going to double this Finale of Promise and cast like just a ton of spells. What's even gonna happen here? Who knows?
mill them out. I don't know how I've really gotten them down to seven. Haven't I only hit them like one time with the Dawnbringer? How did we get the first eight damage in? I don't remember how we did. Othakaya? Oh, just them attacking my Planeswalker with Othakaya out in play? That's okay. Just the Othakaya triggers. Yeah. Still haven't seen expansion explosion yet. I think this is a this is like an expansion deck, right? That's gonna double expansion combo us. We haven't seen a single Storms expansion like a yet symphony, though in either I game, am a great like, this game or last game. All right, do y'all need this thing up anymore? Particles, blah blah blah, and then you die. Should I take this thing? Take that thing down. Sit back and watch it burn. It's going to be like a three hour league. I may, I may not be able to get to all three of the other decks that we're planning on playing today. Which deck are we not going to play? I don't know. We'll see. Down, 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 down. So they put the Kefnet in the graveyard. Maybe they just have another Kefnet in hand. They had another Kefnet. All right, game three.
So they had a lot of counter spells. So we could have like these duresses to help stuff resolve. Um, could try to go like a banefire route of just like going upstairs in a longer game. I kind of like both of those. And go down to like maybe even just like two Kaya's Wraths. I guess Spy Spyglass for like Rao and Chandra would be nice. They still deal the damage with their owl, but they don't get to do anything with it. Doesn't seem like they have any artifact removal. Kind of trim these different removal spells. Yeah, bolus is a new thing to get it uh, today. There's like a bolus package in the in the store for four thousand gems. I'm going to wait on this duress a little bit. I think we should be able to resolve Spyglass next turn. I'm not really expecting Spyglass to get countered here. We didn't see any Spell Pierces last game. Alright, so... Ral... Storm Conduit. Yeah, that's a good choice. So now our, all the Ral Storm Conduits they find are all shut off. It's They still ping us, of course, but shut those off. The Full Art Liliana was, like, to, that was only available in the, uh, see what's going on over there now. Roll reversal. Why is this Kefnet always here? Uh, you can only get that with the pre-order, as far as I know. Maybe you can order it afterwards, but it, it was something you got in the pre-order. I don't, I don't know if you can still get it or not. And I've had to use the restroom since like the beginning of this match. But I'm trying to trying to wait till we finish this league, but man, this deck and our opponent's deck, both of them are just so slow. <laughs> These games are never ending.
So unfortunately, I'm two mana away from being able to Kaiserath plus Angrath. But yeah, assuming the Kafnet comes here, we want I wanna save the Kaiserath for a turn. So now we'll Kaiserath and Duress. All right, get that Ral out of there so that we don't take the triggered stuff. And Angrath next turn. So we'll make them discard this melody before we play it. Uh, Chandra, Fire Artisan. No fire, no steel. All right, let's go, Angrath. Go, Angrath, go. No fire, no steel. Hmm. Find some removal or a planeswalker. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's tick up. No fire, no steel. Get that last card out of there. Yeah, get that negate out of there. Play this thing. Let us. You may regret that choice. Nope. 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 No reveal. No, Vanelli of Promise. What does that even do? Um, chart of course and opt. Good news is I think we're gonna win this m match. Bad news is I don't think I can go another match before I have to use the restroom. I think I'll play another one. Roll reversal doesn't do anything, right? Like, they don't have any enchantments, artifacts, or planeswalkers out. Like, they only have a creature, and I don't have a creature, so I don't think roll reversal does anything. Or, I mean, I guess, could they exchange two lands? I guess you can exchange lands. They, if they really want a goblet shrine instead of an island. Trigger. This will not deter me. <laughs> They're keeping a lot of cards in hand for my Angrath tick up. Didn't play a land this turn, so kind of definitely expecting them to be keeping a land in hand here. Oh. Alright, well. Let's see. Awesome boot. Very nice. All right, so we go get Ugin. Ugin kill Kefnet. The time has come. I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. Your past is unwritten. Steal this 5-5. Five, five. 
your crew for my free. attack them for five <laughs> a fair price If they do attack multiple planeswalkers, we do get multi multiple Othakaya triggers. But between Othakaya and Angrath, we're not looking so bad here. And they're at seven. Seven's not very much life. Nagate. Trigger. Dead. If they if they play Kefnet, I would be able to just steal Kefnet and deal four to them, and put them down to one, where then they can't attack my Planeswalkers at all. Oh no! Oh, Augur put the Kefnet on the bottom. I'm gonna steal that seven seven. Come on, get two spells. Two spells. Ugh. No. Now that Liliana's gonna be gone for good. Ugh. They, they got a chomp. For my freedom. <laughs> a fair price. Now they'll attack Karn. Almost assuredly. Would have been really nice to find any spell there. Like, you know, just even like whenever our draw step. Anything to play. While they were tapped. Or I guess they weren't tapped out. They had negate available because of the Electromancer, so. They weren't tapped out. Yeah, we'll see if they have like a shock something to take out like the Angrath because yeah if they attack Karn that puts them down to three Angrath's tick up puts them down to one so maybe they're just attacking Angrath and then I can grab Liliana and then Liliana gets countered by Nagate but it's still like you know drawing a card okay there is always another fight no fire no steel Do I play this? Yeah. Yeah. Cause even if they roll reversal, we're fine. That protects Angrath. All right, so we are four and one. All right, let's let's reset here. This is you know lagging a bunch again. All right, do y'all you, do you think I can take a restroom break even though we're recording for YouTube right now? Yeah, Esper is a lot better deck I am. Esper is just really strong. Of course, okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a quick restroom break then. If you're watching this on YouTube, just hit like the forward 30 second button like three times and I'll be right back.
Okay. I am back. Thank you. All right, let's play our final boss match here. We are four and one. Let's get this going. Where's my final boss playlist? Now we are ready to battle. Final boss emotes. Yeah, I'm playing the league because of donation decks, yeah. Yep. Mono red for the final boss. Second creature. Any creature. You can choose anyone you want. Alright, looks like Lava Runner was a choice. Ooh. Let's wait a turn and Kaya's Wrath. Because um, then I can save Mortify in case of Frenzy. So we took two damage to keep the Mortify in hand. Land. Land. Let's draw land. I want to get this Angrath. Come on, draw land. Land! Oh gosh, that's a shock land though. I'm not going shock land. I battle smooth. I'll make use of that laser. Shocking is like basically giving them a card. What kind of life gain do we have in the main deck? We got oh we have Othakaias. Okay. Let's find Othakaias. Stop. Being a big meanie. Um You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. Good choice. Let's dig for Othakaya. Ooh, Vrass's Contempt. I will take that one. This will aid us. Yes, that will aid us. No fire. No steel. I don't know why our opponent didn't play their land there. <laughs> well, Dispark could hit a Frenzy at least. So you never know. The you never ever know. Ooh, are. give me that Othakaya. Lame. No fire. No steel. Our opponent drawing eight lands has been helping us. They've already discarded two lands. There's six more over here. No fire. Is that land number no nine? Steel. Oh, is it just a frenzy? Or, sorry, not a frenzy. Sorry, a steamkin. I don't know if they know this, but oh, the Kai can just go upstairs. All right. Why not get Ugin back? We just didn't. Ugin just didn't really matter. It didn't really affect our clock or anything. Because Angrath was going to ultimate the next turn and kill our opponent whenever whenever Angrath ultimated. All right. So we got Liras. We got Duress. Um, Cry the Carnarium. And Despark is out. Ugin is out. Liliana is out. That's 63. Bont 2. Hmm. I kind of like Angrath. I kind of do. Bont 2, I guess, does. You know, it's another way for us to draw a lot of cards. I don't really like Treasure Map. Treasure Maps. I mean, but Treasure Maps, like, our. It's kind of like our card, though. Um, 
Maybe I'll just get rid of Bantu and the two Angrats. Or... I could get rid of the Bedevil. All this other removal. Let's do that. We'll get rid of Bedevil. Oh, you think maybe take a land out? Like this Blast Zone? Oh, no. We, we still have 25. No, I don't want to take a land out. Um, what kills faster, Bantu or Angrath? Maybe Angrath. And a Carnel. Whoa. I don't, I don't know what Streamlabs is doing over there. Let's see. Let's keep... Yeah, this hand can be really good for us. J. Jack Jr. with a donation. Thank you, J. Jack Jr. I guess I'll have to try to figure out what's wrong with Streamlabs now. Why that donation thing looked like that. Everything's just falling apart over here. Come on, back to... Oh, my Twitch is messing up now. Yeah, I have Dreadhorde Control in here, J. Jack Jr., that I I was actually working on some this morning. That I have some changes, but... Okay, so we have... Yeah, let's see what we got over here. There's Frenzy. Gotta hope our opponent bricks for a little bit. I uh, would really love to see a Oath of Kaya. Hooray! Oath of Kaya. Perfect. Absolute perfect. the treasures to be able to play this Dawnbringer and that should be game I think that's game yes that is we're gonna play Huatli next turn and tick up and gain five life and then of course our Lyra was gonna gain another five life from attacking all right final boss defeated and Mardu in 5-1 we did it all right, Mardu Control 5-1. Playing for Othakaya, good decision if you're playing against Mono Red. Um, definitely a good decision there. Whew, but boy, was this deck a grind. Man, this is this is a pretty fun deck. If you like, you know, I've had a few people here in chat saying that like Mardu is like one of their favorite color combinations and things. If you like Mardu uh, Control decks, this deck was a lot of fun to play. We beat Mono Blue twice. We beat Mono Red. Uh, so, you know, we're pretty good against the aggro decks. We did beat an Esper Control, but it was a kind of a weird Esper Control deck. A lot more of the three mana Planeswalkers, and we had Blast Zone take out a couple three mana Planeswalkers for us that really helped. And they didn't have, like, any counter spells game one. I don't think they played a single counter spell against us, which, which really helped in a super long game. And then we played a kind of like a weird blue-red deck that couldn't really win games. So yeah, this is a very grindy deck. Uh, Treasure Map, of course, was an all-star. Lilia Liliana and Ugin did a lot of work for us. And honestly, this this one of Huatli won us a lot of games. Like, it was great against Mono Blue. Uh, yeah, this, this Huatli was just awesome for us. Um, you know, better than, better than what a Sarkin would have been, probably. 
We never drew the Bantu. I, I think this is the card that I question the most in the deck is this Bantu. It's the most questionable card. I could certainly see playing like a Sarkin or some, something else over this Bantu. Um, and I, I don't love Massacre Girl, but it, it helped us win one game. And that's, you know, from a one-off sideboard card, if it helps you win a game, that's that's basically all you want. So yeah, Mardu Control. Grind them out. Grind them out. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry about uh, taking a little restroom break in there and all of the PC talk. Hopefully that wasn't too annoying. Um, but thank you very much for watching. 